this salute you, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is not easy to say. This is not going to be very easily received, but it's the truth. This is a prophecy. According to many preachers, churches, Christians, and people. The Lord calls it the rocks crying. Are the rocks crying yet? It says, and he says to me, where are the people that they put on pedestals now? With their degrees, years of ministry, doctrines, awards, trophies. If they do not praise me, rocks will cry out. Are the rocks crying yet? The church is locked and silent. I will reveal mine on pedestals. I have placed shortly with doors open. Revival, says the Lord. Where are the ones you put on pedestals? Where are the shepherds? What good are they doing? Where are we at? We're at a standstill in the church. Where are the Joel Osteens, the Joyce Myers, the T.D. Jakes, Why are all the local churches closed? Not all of them are closed. Find them. Seek them out. Test the spirits to see if they're of God. If we don't praise him, the rocks will cry out. Don't be a rock. Don't be steady. Don't be silent. Don't just sit there. Do something. He said, I build my church on the rock. On this rock, I build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Trust him. Follow him. Look to him. Stay with him. Did my part. Do yours, church. Salute to you. If you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, or if you knew, used to know Jesus, come back to him. If you know the Lord, Get to know him better and more on a deeper level or a higher level or a wider level. Keep looking up. What time is at hand? Somebody's time is at hand. It might not be your time, but somebody's time is coming to an end. And it's my job to warn people. To know him before it's too late. Amen and amen.